What is going on guys, it's Wolfie here, and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now last time we left off, you guys might remember uh, the episode before last episode, Robin started working on the silo over here, and she actually finished it in the last episode, and we started, you know, mining a bunch of all the grass and stuff with that over there, and you know what's really cool is that we almost filled this thing up with a bunch of hay, it's already got 2 to 14, or 2 to 15 out of 240, so that thing is almost full. Apparently, yeah, uh, just like my suspicions said, you can only use that thing whenever you actually have like a chicken coop or like a, uh, uh, what is it called, like a barn or something like that. You can only use it whenever that stuff uh, is on your farm. And I, I guess it like auto feeds hay into those things and it like feeds all your critters and stuff like that, which is really interesting. But uh, we do have a lot of peppers and other stuff like hops and stuff like that as well done over here. Also went mining last episode, went from level 40 to 45 in the mines and we found something really cool. We got a uh, magnet ring, increases your radius for collecting items, which is really cool. So I guess if we cut down a tree or something like that, I won't have to travel as far to pick up all the tree parts and stuff like that. So that'd be pretty cool. And look at this, summer spangles. These are all done as well. I definitely want to go give these as gifts to people and see if, uh, you know, we get better relationship points with them and stuff like that. Definitely want to try that out. And yeah, last episode, we did get some dried starfish. Uh, we need to go give that to Gunther, and we got an Omni Geode as well, and we need to start using some of this, uh, some of this food over here and stuff like that, too. Uh, my energy's, uh, I was about to say, like, I want to eat the Pepper Poppers right now, just because, uh, but, like, the energy do rule, it doesn't, doesn't seem like it's down that much. Yeah, it's only down, like, 60-something, 57 right there, so, I don't think I need to have a full 130 right there. I, m I might just take one here, but, I'm like, it gives you plus two farming and then speed and stuff like that. Uh, I have to get the watering can and then water all this stuff over here. I did get a comment from someone for the last episode saying that, uh, oh, by the way, there you go, copper watering can. Saying that, yeah, it's it's actually more efficient, like energy efficient, to mine or uh, to water these one by one, which is kind of interesting. I thought that'd be the other way around, because, of course, the other way around was uh, holding this down. Oh, man, I did it the wrong way. Whoops. <laughs> holding it down and uh, it waters like three crops right there. But no, apparently it waters three crops, but it uses the same amount of energy as like watering four crops individually. So I guess I'll just continue watering all the crops over here one by one. And uh, I, I guess I'll just see you guys here in just a sec once I'm done with all this. And I'll probably end up. Uh, oh, yeah. See, now my stamina is starting to drain. It's down only like 90 right now, but I don't know. I might get the pepper poppers here in just a bit. Uh, oh, yeah, and then these are already watered by the sprinkler. But, yeah, let, let me just water all this stuff over here. Something else I want to do this episode is go give Willy a fish as a present. See, like, what does he think about it? Hopefully, we're actually able to give him... Oh, and by the way, there, there you go. Yeah, there's another pepper right there, too. Nice. Got, glad I got it right there. Uh, but it is his birthday. I think either tomorrow or today. I don't know. I'll have to check. Uh, but I, I do want to just see, like, test out what items he does like. I think there's, like, two items, two, like, fish that he's okay with. Let's see, where is it? There he is right there. Like, he's okay, like, he doesn't, like, yeah, he doesn't like salmon berry, of course, like, who doesn't? Or who does? <laughs> Seems like everyone that we give a salmon berry doesn't really like it, but he does like the clam. We did have one of those last episode where we sold it. He likes sunfish and smallmouth bass. Uh, I think we can get those at, like, I think there's the river, either the river or the lake. I think it was the lake, actually, now that I think about it, right? So those are normal gifts, so I guess he's indifferent about that. He'll still be happy about it, but, you know, not as happy as something else. And yeah, we don't know anything. Uh, it says normal. Oh, well, yeah, normal. Okay. Yeah, we don't know anything that he likes. We only know what he dislikes and what he's, like, normal about. So, yeah, we, we need to do a little bit of trial and error before his birthday. But for right now, like I said, let me keep uh, watering every crop individually over here. And I'll probably eat a pepper popper and uh, get a little bit of stamina back. As well as getting, like, plus two farming and a little bit of speed back as well. So, let me continue watering all the crops. And I'll see you guys here in just a bit. I guess I think everything is watered now, so that's good. Fill that back up. We do have a little bit of speed still for like seven more minutes and plus two farming source pepper poppers. Oh man, I wonder if the plus two farming would have been for like harvesting or something like that. I don't know really what that does, but either way, there you go. We got a little bit of energy back. Still down a little bit right now as well, which is kind of kind of sucks. But something I also want to do this episode, which I guess we can start doing now that we have a lot of wood. Uh, yeah, so there you go. I, I guess I'll just grab it all real quick. Uh, but I did want to move the chests out here. I did get comments agreeing with me and also suggesting that. So uh, I do want to get two chests, one of them for forging, one for farming items. I guess we can put them out here. Kind of like we have the furnaces over there on the left side. So we could have uh, foraging items in one. We could have, uh, let's see. I guess we could have farm items as green. Is that good? I guess so. And then for forging items, maybe like purple, just kind of have a little bit of contrast with it, you know? So there you go. And then I'll definitely have to move everything over here. But uh, farming items, I guess Summer Spangle, would that count? 
I, I guess I'll still keep like the, the rare, the silver star, gold star, iridium star. I'll still keep those inside, but all the other stuff, I guess I'll keep out here. So put up all those regular summer spangles inside of there and the regular hops as well and regular peppers. I'll put that there as well. And I guess I'll put up all the uh, the gold star, silver star and all the kind of stuff. I, give it, I guess if anything, uh, we could give Willie. Oh, and that's by the way, the food chest right there. I guess we could give him one of the star spangle things there and see what he thinks about that, huh? I suppose we could. So either way, these are all foraging items. I guess we'll grab all those, move them all outside. Do not eat the sweet pea. <laughs> Let's see what's inside here. Uh, I'm not able to grab all that, unfortunately, man. All right, well, I'll grab, I'll grab a few of them. And that's, yeah, I can't fit any more there, unfortunately. Oh, what in the world? Oh, I just threw the, okay, well, there's like a strawberry just there <laughs> randomly. <laughs> all right, well, either way, let me, let me keep moving items over here. Okay, so yeah, these are all foraging, which I could, I could easily check. Oh, yep, that's a vegetable. Oh, wait, well, yeah, that's this fruit there, though. I'm like, we could forage for grapes, though, so. Uh, and then Spice Bear also says fruit. Whatever, I'm confused. It's not very uh, consistent here, you guys. But uh, yeah, these are all foraging items here. I'll keep those there. And then, uh, of course, all these items over here that I grow, those are all going to be foraging items as well. So we're going to get a ton from those. Uh, but yeah, let me keep moving items out here just so they're a lot more convenient for us and we won't have to like go in and out of the house to uh, to continually. And I guess maybe this could be like the, like the tree chest, I guess you could call it. So we could put like hardwood in there, regular wood. Uh, hey, I I don't know what to put that. Where to put that, right? We we definitely want to put that in there. And then rice shoot. Uh, I guess we'll put that in the seeds chest, potato, fiber. I guess we can keep that in there. And then rare seeds. Uh, I guess we can keep that out there as well. Blueberry and mixed seeds and mahogany seed. Uh, you know, what? We, nef we definitely want to plant that. L let's grab that. that. That's good. That's good. Okay, perfect. Uh, it's 1 p.m. right now. Golly, it's, time is just flying, you guys. I definitely want to plant that mahogany seed. Maybe I'll put it like over here or something like that. Maybe like at the entrance of this. Yeah, maybe like right here or something. I don't know. Let's put it like right here. Zip. Oh, whoops. Eh, that might work. Is this going to work here? Or, uh... Hey, there you go. Okay, I guess I have to water that too. And I don't know, maybe maybe in a month or something like that, we'll have a giant mahogany tree or something growing there. That'll be pretty crazy. I don't think we have any more foraging items. So uh, let's put up all the farm stuff inside of here. There you go. And then seeds. Definitely want to go put that in the chest that's over there with the uh, the watering can. Uh, same with that. Same with that. I definitely want to go to the museum here and then also go to Willy. And then, yeah, let's go to the blacksmith as well. We have this Omni Geode. Definitely want to try out that, you guys. So let's definitely not uh, forget about any of that stuff. We have a little bit of wood in my inventory still. Uh, I don't think we need wood for anything. Uh, actually, I don't know. Isn't there something that we need a lot of wood for? Like repairing something? I forget. I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, either way, we have a lot of wood in my inventory. I guess I'll just I'll just leave it in there. But hey, at least we're organizing our inventory a little bit better. And I see worms. I see worms. Boom. Got, whoa. Prehistoric vertebrae. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Spice berries right there. Whatever. Not that big of a deal. Uh, if it was worms, I definitely would have turned back and got it there. But uh, let's go check about the bulletin board. Let's see. Yep, there is a mission over here. Let's see what this is all about. And we are moving a little bit faster. Yep. Willie's birthday is tomorrow. So let's not forget. It. What? Let's not forget about that, you guys. What the? I just want to look at the bulletin board. I didn't want to go in. There you go. Golly. I need a carpet if it's not in, not too inconvenient. Yeah, this is for Caroline. 90 gold on delivery. I guess we'll accept that. Kind of gives us, gives us an excuse to fish, I suppose, huh? And then, uh, what is this? What am I doing here? Oh, yeah, I guess if anything, I could check on the, uh, what was that? That that flower. Whatever that flower is that uh, we planted. Where is that? Pomegranate sapling. Oh, yeah, see, there's are thousands to get a tree going, like an apple tree or whatever. Yeah, how much is an apple tree? Apple sapling, 4,000, jeez. And then here's fertilizer and stuff in here as well. We can make fertilizer at home. We don't need to buy it here, so. Uh, but I am curious about, here we go, spangle seeds. They take eight days. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't make sense to grab these. We're already grown poppies. I guess we just give these to Penny, and then I guess everyone else hates them, so. <laughs> Maybe we'll save the other ones until next year. But yeah, we can't get anything else here. If we want to, we can always get corn, I suppose, but uh, we already have a lot of corn going right now. I'll just leave it as a what in the world's happening over here? Oh, yeah, everyone's like exercising and whatnot. I forgot about that. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's go down to the blacksmith. Go down to the museum before I can forget. I didn't even check on the luck or anything like that today. Yeah, we had some pretty good luck uh, yesterday, you guys. It was pretty cool. We actually found, what was it, like a rare crystal or like a refined crystal or something like that in the trash, which was pretty crazy. So let's go over here. Let's go to the blacksmith because I think he closes before the museum. So let's, uh, let's get him to crack open this geode. Let's see what's inside. Omni Geo, that is. Whoa! Oh, hey, we already have one of the yeah, Jamborite. I, I, can we sell that? Can we get money on that? Or yeah, we can. 150. Do I want to though? I kind of want to check. No, the community center does not want that. I, I do remember giving that to the museum. Do I sell it? Do I keep it? I don't know. 
mineral, though. The crystals are so tightly packed, it almost looks fuzzy. It doesn't say anything about, uh, I, I guess maybe the first one was an artifact, but, uh, you know, any ones that you get after the initial Jamborite is going to be a mineral and you just kind of keep it or gift it or whatever. Maybe I'll gift that to the, uh, Caroline or whoever has the green hair. That probably makes sense, huh? Let's go over here. Oh, there's, uh, Haley over there ready to get some trash. <laughs> Let's keep donating some stuff over here, though. Donate to the museum. What do we have? Yeah, so we have the vertebrae right here. There's a rip cake. I guess it makes sense to put it right here. Hey, new reward. Hey, hopefully something good. Let's see, what about this fish? Where am I going to put this uh, dried starfish? Yeah, see, there's the jamboree right there, by the way. I guess if we have to, uh, if I put it here, can I even reach it? I guess I'll try. So, hey, there you go. So, what are we going to get from Gunther? Let's see. Collect rewards. We got a starfruit seed. Ooh. And a sloth skeleton M. Wait, what? So, was that a giant sloth skeleton that we're building over there or what? Because this is a sloth skeleton, I assume, medium size. As a decoration, can be placed as decoration. I guess I'll keep that. And of course, we have Jamboride. I can't do anything with that, so I guess I'll sell that. Starfruit seed. Plant these in the summer. Takes 13 days to mature. Oh. We don't have 13 days of summer left, you guys. We can't We can't plant these. And didn't we hear... Didn't we read a book about starfruit seeds? Like over here or something like that? Where was that? There's a book missing here. Wait, where was the... Uh, Scare no, this is the Scarecrow's one. There was a book somewhere over here. Oh wait, no. Secret of the Star Drop. Is this it right here? Uh Mysterious Powers of Star Drop. Is Star Drop the same as Star Fruit? Or some of the Star Drop? They must be different because they're being called different things here, so I suppose they're not the same. But I guess we'll go over here and let's go read about the dried starfish and the uh, other vertebrae. Oh yeah, I can't read about that because it's in the middle. Man! Ah, I guess we'll have to go talk to him again and move it, but that kind of sucks. You can't move it if it's in the middle, or you can't read about it if it's in the middle there. Prehistoric vertebrae. A segment of some prehistoric creature's spine. I'm like, that's self-explanatory, right? I don't know. Maybe we'll put the starfish over there. Maybe up there. Something. I don't know. I don't know why there's even a slot that you can't even reach. That doesn't make sense. You go over here to the pencil and paper, you guys said. And yes, rearrange the museum stuff. Let's move. Oh, I guess I have to do this. Move the starfish. Yes. Move that. I don't know. <laughs> Where am I going to put this? Up here, I guess? There you go. Put that in the corner. Sure. All right. So we have that done. So that's good. Uh, still 3.50 p.m. Then uh, we still have a little bit of time. Oh, yeah. I didn't even bring anything to test out. Uh, I guess we just have to go fishing and maybe give uh, Willie something, right? Dried starfish. A starfish starfish from the primordial ocean it is unusually pristine specimen. Ooh. Well, hey, if I have any extras of those, I'm going to be getting some good money out of that, I'm sure, right? Hopefully, right? Golly. Uh, but it kind of sucks getting that star fruit seed or whatever right there and not actually being able to use it, so whatever. Anyways, oh yeah, I had a bunch of uh, those flowers earlier, those whatever they are, those the summer version of tulips or whatever, right? I do have uh, stuff there, but I do want to go fishing over here uh, before, like, what is his name? Willie, like, before he, like, goes to sleep or bed or whatever else, right? Literal trash right there, so that kind of sucks. Anyways, we got a muscle right there, I'll take that. No, uh, no worms here, unfortunately. I did get a comment from someone. I just saw that uh, statue over there saying something about like putting that warp totem on top of some sort of totem. I don't know if we have to put the warp totem on the totem pole that's like right here. If that actually does something or if uh, maybe they're referring to something else. I don't know. Uh, I didn't write that down. I know so, but something about uh, putting the warp totem like on top of a statue or something like that. Either way. Uh, no whirlpools there, unfortunately. I do have a little bit of inventory space, so I can get a little bit of, uh, fish here and there. And I wonder if talking to her, yeah, saying the same thing. Hopefully that gets a little bit of social socialization and whatnot. Still two, uh, two fifty, two minutes, 50 seconds left of speed, so we can move around a little bit faster, which is good. But, uh, Willie, is he? Yeah, there he is right there. Any, uh, whirlpools over here I can take advantage of? I am not seeing any, unfortunately. Man! I guess I go fishing by the uh, the big old rock over here then. How does Willie not know about this secret rock right here? Yep. Oh man, I messed that up. Man. Uh, all right, well, was he like car? Oh, okay, well, there's seaweed. That's obviously not good. <laughs> uh, but hopefully we get something good here. And we can test it out. We hopefully we get multiple fish. Okay, boom, boom. Nice, got a fish immediately. Nice. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Oh man, I think someone told me the key you could use on the keyboard to try and catch fish during this. I need to, I need to. Oh, there we go. We got the whoa. What is it? We got the flounder. I think that was one of the fish that we needed, right? For the community center? No, it's not. Ooh. But we got a new record there. It is gold. 68 energy. Not bad. It's the one with a heckin' two eyes on top of its head like a freak. 
<laughs> but uh, let's keep fishing here until I, I guess if we find another flounder, we can give him one of the flounders right now, see if he likes it. And if he does, we can give him the other flounder tomorrow. That's that's kind of what I want to test right now. But uh, let's get a test. Yes, yeah, so you can hit C on your keyboard, and that also like raises and lowers the fishing. I don't know. It might be easier using the oh red mullet. Ah! Oh yeah, red mullet. Yeah, you get more money on red mullet than the uh, the smaller red fish, right? Yeah. So hopefully we actually catch that and some more. Oh, whoa, oh, 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 whoa, here's another fish right here. I don't know how invasive this fish is compared to that red mullet. It might be the same thing. Boom! Oh, man, I thought that was a... Okay, so we got two red mullets right there. I guess we test it out, huh? Give him one red mullet, and if he likes it, give him the other red mullet tomorrow. Let's, let's do that right now. Before it gets too late, right? Uh, okay, last... Le oh, whoops. Okay, whatever. Seaweed, not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal. <laughs> oh, let's get the trash out of this. Let's uh, get the bait. There you go. And then, boom. Okay, Let, let's give him a... Oh, I have two gold star ones. Wow. All right, does he like that? A gift! Thanks! I assume he liked that. I think he liked it. It sounded like it. Let's see. Where is he? There he is right there. Okay, so yeah, we didn't give him a gift yet. Oh, yeah, I did get comments from you guys saying, uh... I can't actually get a relationship with the dwarf guy yet. Uh, until... Something. Like, later on in the game, I forget what it was specifically, but... Uh, I'm like, at least I gave him the gift there, so if anything, that's that's good. Maybe maybe next year, I'll, I'll know, hey, give him a tulip or something like that, so that, that's good. Uh, once we're actually ready for that. But, uh, I want to check on Willy. Did, is that in, in, in his favor? Is that in his favorites or something like that? I guess it's just a normal gift. Okay, whatever. Uh, I guess we can just give him another red mold tomorrow then. Not that big of a deal, I suppose, huh? <laughs> Either way, I, I suppose we'll go home. Uh, oh my god, there's Lee. Oh, hey, there's that guy as well. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. Oh, there you go, I caught you. I've encountered some beautiful shells in front of my house. Well, not for long, because I'm picking them all up. <laughs> Hopefully, right? <laughs> Get some good money out of them. And then there's, yeah, there's Leah. I need to give this thing some more bait. Boom, there you go, perfect. Any more uh, worms around here? Wow, look at how fast we are right now, you guys. This is crazy. I'm like, uh, I'm all like energized by the pepper poppers we got from Shane. <laughs> That's crazy. Anyways, uh, oh, 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 almost just got caught by Leo right there going through people's trash and whatnot. <laughs> Thankfully, we didn't get caught. <laughs> Anyways, I guess we'll keep going around over here. Oh, yeah. Is there anything uh, before we actually head straight home? Oh, yeah. I'll put that there. Anything we have right now that is community center stuff? I don't think so. Yeah, nothing is community center stuff, which is good. No, yeah, the community center don't need like a bunch of wood either. Yeah, we got that done like two episodes ago for the construction bundle, right? So that's pretty cool. Any more worms here? I do. Yeah, we have the sweet berry, uh, whatever right there. I guess for the rest of the day, because I do have a little bit of energy. I do have a oh man, sweet peas right there, too. Two of them right there. Awesome. Uh, but I'm like, we have a little bit of time and I have a little bit of energy. I guess I'll continue expanding the farm out over here just to try and get, uh, you know, you cut down a few trees and whatnot. Uh, yeah, I've got wood over here. I, I can take care of this, no problemo. And a little bit of inventory space, too. It's just that the hard thing is that trying to see... Okay, so there we go. We cut down that tree. Boom! And yeah, wow! All those items, like, from far away were getting magnetized to me. That was crazy, you guys. That's because we had that... Was it, like, magnetic ring or whatever it was called? Awesome! Alright, well, let's keep cutting down some trees here. Just so these are not blocking the way whenever I'm, uh... Like, like trying to farm and whatnot over here. And yeah, I still have a lot of energy, so that, that's good. And, hey... At least we'll have a little bit more room to keep on expanding our farm, especially whenever fall starts. Definitely don't want to forget about that, you guys. Boom, there you go. Especially with, like once fall starts, definitely want to get whatever the fall equivalent of blueberries or uh, strawberries is. So we get a lot of, because uh, we get three blueberries per harvest, right? So definitely want to get the same uh, thing for whatever fall is. Uh, definitely want to continue getting more corn and maybe start actually designing out a, 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 like a layout for a farm that makes sense. Like like with sprinklers in mind, knowing that uh, sprinklers sprinkle in certain directions and whatnot, or at least getting it prepared for that because we can't get any uh, upgraded sprinklers right now, right? The only ones we're able to get is the regular one. There's an improved one that we got from something. I think it was from one of the bundles or something like that. Oh, yeah, I did get comments of you guys saying not to make the sturdy ring. Cuts the duration of negative status effects in half. 25 I'm like, yeah, that is pretty expensive. I don't know. How often have I come across a negative status effect, though, right? So, I don't know. I guess it don't really make too much sense to make that uh, too copper. Oh, yeah, I guess if anything, yeah, we could have uh, could have upgraded something like the hoe or something like that. that. That surely would make, like, the new season a little bit easier. I suppose we could do that. I think we have a small tree right here or something. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel exhausted. Uh, still 1040. I guess I'll eat some cookies. Oops, snacking on three cookies in the middle of the night. <laughs> there, I get that broken noise. 
Oh yeah, that gives you a lot of energy. Nice. What in the world is that down there? I just saw a creature. I don't know if it was my zombies or what. But yeah, let's keep cutting down some trees. I think everything that's right there is just uh, like tall grass and rocks and maybe a few sticks here or there. So uh, we should be able to clear that out no problem. And I guess we can keep expanding the farm like downwards. That'd be pretty good. And we, we still have this farm or uh, this little pond right here. We can keep filling up our uh, watering can. So we don't need to make the well just yet. But maybe in the future, uh, whenever our farm gets bigger than it already is, maybe we'll put the, like the well like over here or something like that. And then we'll put more farm stuff over here. And then the well can basically be in the middle of our farm area. That'd be pretty cool, you guys. 11.40 p.m. I'll cut down a couple more trees and I guess I'll be good to go. Oh, whoa, something just fell out of the tree right there. What is it? Oh, my inventory is full, actually. Ooh, hold on. Let me keep cutting this down. Boom. Okay, so those are done. Anything that I already had in my inventory is stacking up, which is good. But uh, let's go over here and sell some of the stuff. I guess we'll sell the Jagawite. Uh, just because I'm like, we'll get some money out of that. That'll be good, right? Uh, the Flounder, I guess we could sell that. The Red Mullet, we definitely want to keep that. Flounder, I'm like, the community center didn't want it, so. Uh, clam, he's okay with Clam, but he's also okay with the Red Mullet, so I guess I'll give him the Red Mullet, especially because it's a Gold Star, so. That might actually help him out a little bit there, so that'd be pretty good. Then we have a Silver Star col Coral, and then a Muscle right there as well. I think that's it. I think we're keeping the sap in. But oh yeah, we have pine cones now, so yeah, we can make the uh, the energy bars or uh, what are they called, right? So that'd be pretty good. 12, 10 a.m. Yeah, I think we're fine right now. I think we have yeah, a few few items here that I didn't collect because my inventory was completely full. A bunch of maple seeds and whatever else, right? Do we water the uh, what was that? This thing? Did we? I think we watered it. I feel like we did, but I I don't know. Anyways, uh, we do have this like skeleton or what? I guess we could place it down here. I'll put it in the in the here, put it on the table. There you go. <laughs> Just a random skeleton right there or something, huh? <laughs> go to sleep for the night, yeah. Oh, hey! I knew it! Yeah, last episode we saw, uh, I was about to level up on farming, and boom, there you go, level 5 farming. Choose the profession. What are we going to choose? Rancher? Animal products worth 20% more, or the tiller? Crops are worth 10% more. Just like last time. Where it was, what was it? It was between like, like something about like cutting down trees and then the other one was like forging. I chose forging just because we we're doing so much of it. I think I'm going to go with Tiller right now. I think I'm going to go with Tiller. And I think you guys commented I'm able to change this later on anyways. Like once I hit like level 10 or something like that, right? My crops will be worth 10% more just because I don't have any, cr I don't have any animals right now. So it doesn't really make sense to get this. But at the same time, if I get this, it might incentivize me to go actually uh, go, go, go get a barn and go get a, go get a coop and all that kind of stuff, right? And it's 20% compared to this being 10% more, but I'm like, I've got so much more crops right now compared to literally zero animals. So I feel like Tiller, that's the one that just makes the most sense right now. So I think I'm going to do that. Boom. All right. Well, hey, speaking of selling stuff, let's see how much we actually got right here. I don't know if it's going to benefit any. Uh, yeah, I don't think we actually sold any uh, farming stuff. Yeah, literally nothing right there, but. Uh, 50 for the regular clam, 80 for the regular coral, silver coral, got 100 right there, really good money, there you guys. The jag, j or, j jamborite, why do I keep calling it jaguite, or whatever I was calling it earlier, like, I was probably thinking like jaguar or something like that. Uh, seaweed, two of those, 20 each, and we got 40 out of that, and then in total, $630 overnight, not bad at all. And we're starting the last week, oh, we started last week, like, last episode or something like that, but we're getting much closer to the uh, last week, last day of the last week of the month. Golly, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> but this is like all the tree products in here, right? Like, or like tree, like, like stuff, like cutting down, like cleaning out the farm area, like products, because you can describe it as, huh? Then we have that uh, star fruit seed right there. I don't know what this chest is going to be, by the way. I guess we'll put the the, uh, the trash somewhere. Where are we going? Yeah, put it in there, I suppose. What else am I going to do with it, right? But check the TV. Weather report for tomorrow is going to be a beautiful and sunny day. Awesome. Fortune teller is going to be spirits are very displeased today. Whoops. They're going to do their best to make your life difficult. Yeah, we had really good luck last episode. That must have been what helped us out in the mines going from level 40 to 45. Because like pretty much every time I like broke a rock, like the first one or two times I broke a rock, like we found the ladder down. And I'm pretty sure that's because of our good luck that day, right? Anyway, it's the queen of sauce. We got a rerun here. What is this? Stir fry. I think we already have this recipe, but... Like, it's not like I'd really know for sure because we don't have our heckin' kitchen here. <laughs> Stir fry is a perfect way to get some healthy greens on your plate. Saute those greens in a little sesame oil and make sure to add plenty of fresh ginger and garlic. Now breathe deeply. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I already know. Yeah, I, I figured that out. 
But either way, uh, I guess I'll keep that there as a little bit of decoration. But well, let's keep on putting uh, whatever over here, starfruit seeds there. I guess we'll go to Willy. I, I forget whenever he opens, but uh, we have foraging items there. And speaking of, oh my gosh, speaking of foraging items, holy heck, you guys. Look at all these. Whoops, didn't mean to mine that with a pickaxe. Man, we're getting so many foraging items and we have that buff. Remember the foraging buff or whatever. I guess we have, I guess it's a dead crop. They're like a straight up dead crop. I guess it's just a thing that happens is that sometimes you plant something and it's just straight up dead. So I guess if I noticed that earlier on, I could actually like till that out of the ground or something like that. And by the way, are these still fertilized? It's still like little black pepper flakes or whatever in the ground there. It looks like they're still fertilized. This thing's, I guess, dead. So what do I do here? How do I, uh, what do I do with that? Okay, there you go. Boom. Killed it right there. Okay, perfect. So we got a lot of really good gold star and silver stars there, you guys. Amazing. And we have some regular ones I put up inside of here. So I, I'll worry about selling them a little bit later whenever we really need to. But there you go. Wow, look at that. Four gold star sweet peas. And we have a chance of getting double forging items. I don't know how many times we actually got it right there, but wow. Gold star grapes, silver star grapes, six of those. Five silver star sweet peas, eight silver star spice berries, two gold star spice berries. Woo, man, we got some really good stuff with you guys. That's amazing. I might sell those overnight or something like that. And I'll keep those over here in the rare items. Whoops. Uh, thing over here. So uh, there you go. Have fun with that. Anyways, was there something else we're going to do today? I forgot. I don't think there's any events or anything like that going on today, but we do have blueberries over here. Awesome. And the melons are done as well. Wow. And we have one random hot pepper right there done too. And yeah, look at this. Now we don't have the trees over here blocking the way anymore, which is great. I love this. I can actually see all the crops and we have hops over here. I don't know if I forgot about these uh, yesterday, but there you go. I don't know what that is right there. And these are supposed to be corn. Uh, wow, look at the trees over here growing as well. Golly, I need to clean these all out, man. And there's even more like tall grass spreading over here too. Golly, there you go. Oh my gosh, look, look at that. The wood from all the way over there is magnetizing me. This is amazing, you guys. This magnet ring is awesome. Man, I wonder how often it's going to be uh, of use because I'm always seeing like an, a use for this magnet ring while we're like picking up items that are like falling from this tree and stuff like that. Uh, maybe in the mines will come useful. Perhaps. I don't know. Uh, there you go. Golly, it took a lot of energy to kill that tree right there. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's go check up on the maple tree or uh, what, whatever that sapling that I planted yesterday. I, I want to go see if there's any progress going on with that. I think there might be some wood or something like that over here as well. Yeah, I'm picking up something, but I don't have the I don't have the sickle on me right now, unfortunately. But oh, wait, what in the world is that? What is that? Oh, it's just a stump of a tree. OK, yeah, I must have left that there or something like that. But it was somewhere over here, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, see, it's right there. I guess I have to manually water it. And, yeah, speaking of such, I'm going to have to manually water all this as well. I might have to pause for that, unfortunately. It's going to take a lot of while. But got uh, some pretty good rare stuff over here. A lot of melons. A regular melon. Oh, yeah, we have a uh, we have a mission for someone to give them melons, right? So I guess I... Let, let's see. Who was it? I think it was... Uh, oh, I don't I don't have a carp, though, for Caroline. Man. Oh, and I yeah, I, I did say something about wanting to give her the... the what was it called? Jambo right? The green crystal. I, I did say something about wanting to test that out. I don't know. Maybe that was one of her favorites or something. Like that. I don't know. Here we go. Bring Demetrius a melon. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking of just a second ago. So definitely want to do that. Uh, let's go inside. Let's go drop off all the gold, silver. I don't know if we have any iridium. That'd be kind of crazy if we did. But uh, put those all up inside there. I don't, I don't care if these are all like foraging items mixed with farming items and stuff like that in here. Uh, they're all grouped together mainly just because they have stars next to their names. Right. So. Either way, uh, let's keep putting like wood and acorns or whatever else over here. There you go. Hops, I need to do that outside. And I guess we'll go to Willie. Go give him his birthday present, huh? Let's see. Hops. There you go. Boom. And then uh, I guess we'll go to Demetrius. Oh, yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, you know what? M maybe maybe later in the day, I'll water all the crops and stuff like that. Just because I'm like, every everything's open in the morning. I don't want to be basically no energy. And like everything's already starting to close and stuff like that. By the time I'm done farming, that might be what we need to do. Start actually tending to our crops like either in the very early morning, like like just harvesting them like at 6 a.m. to like 9 a.m. or something like that. And then uh like like 5 p.m. until like midnight or something like that. That that'll make more sense. But I guess we'll go down the willy real quick. Go see what he's talking. Go see what's going on down there. See if he likes this fish that we're gonna give him. I don't think he should. He was okay with it last uh yesterday, right? Because we gave him literally the exact same fish that we're gonna give him right now. And uh speaking of such, we have bait right here and we need to put inside the crab pot. So there you go. Let's talk to uh, the mayor Lewis. See what he's uh let's see. The moonlight jellies will be here soon. It's one of my favorite things about the valley. What? Moonlight jellies? Is that like the Halloween event for Stardew Valley or something? I don't know. 
<laughs> I'm kind of spooked out by the sound of that. <laughs> Let's see if there's any worms or anything down here, though, real quick, though. I think, uh, I think Willie's shop should be open by now. I thought, what in the world? There's like a twig there. Is that a twig or is that like a dinosaur bone? <laughs> I guess I wouldn't be too surprised if I found a heckin' dinosaur bone randomly right there. Got another rainbow coral, nice. Rainbow shell, awesome. That's like, what, $300 right there? Let me slurp that up, Ada. Two corals right there. I don't know if we... Oh, yeah, we only got one regular uh, rainbow coral or a rainbow shell right there. That would have been really, really good if I got two of those right there, you guys. But, yeah, you know what? That's like a, a low chance of getting, like, double items whenever you're foraging, unfortunately. Unfortunately... I think I did that joke last time. Got that out of the video. Oh, worms! Worms! I think I got distracted by the, 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 the rainbow thing. I didn't see these worms. Boom! Glass shards. Okay, I'm glad I picked that up before I got it stabbing in my feet. I'm like, I am wearing shoes on the beach, so I'm like, that's good. <laughs> but before I stabbed into someone else's feet, I guess, huh? Uh, it's 11.40. Golly, the time just flies. Let's go down here. Let's go talk to Willy. Uh, actually, go see what this is real quick. What is that? Driftwood. Okay, literal trash. Let's put more bait. I don't know how bait is like uh, in, uh, bringing driftwood into the crab pot, but whatever. I think we have to go back here to talk to him normally, right? As a friend of a fr as a friend to friend. Boom. Oh, a birthday gift. Thank you. I assume he liked that. It sounded like it, but like it says he's just normal about it. So I, I don't think we're going to find out anything about it until tomorrow. I don't think he was too harsh before, was he? I don't know. Maybe. Normal gift, normal gift, fish. Yeah, I gave him a gold red mullet, so I assume he liked that. We still don't know what his favorites are, but whatever. Anyways, I guess we'll go up to Demetrius, give him the melon, and I guess, uh, I don't know, I, I guess I guess we'll just start preparing for fall? I'm like, we're, we're cleaning out a lot of the land around our base, maybe I'll buy some, oh, I was about to say buy some corn seeds from Pierre, but it is Wednesday, so he's going to be closed today, unfortunately, man. Uh, it's 1240. Do I want to upgrade my hoe? Mm, maybe. That might actually make sense. We have good money. We just need to go home, get five uh, copper ore, and then we're good to go. I think I'm going to do it. Let's, let's go up here to Demetrius, though, real quick, before I can forget, before it's like house closes or whatever, right? Uh, let's go up here. If there's any worms, sweet peas right there. Ah, probably missing out worms all over the place. <laughs> Almost missed out on those worms on the beach, but I'm so glad I found him like at the last second there, but let's go up here to Demetrius. I, I assume he's just always hanging out up here, or at least in this general area. I, it seems like every time we want to find him, he's always up here, so uh, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Jeez, I'm a savage. Okay, literally as I say that, he's not even over here. Golly. All right, Robin, or whatever your name is. Uh, upgrade house. What, what do I need here? Oh, yeah, 10,000 gold and 450 pieces of wood. Golly. Well, at least we're saving up a lot of wood right now. We're going to get a lot of wood uh, later on as well. 4,000 wood and then... Or 4,000... Jeez. 4,000 gold, 300 wood, 100 stone. We should be able to do that if I just sell a few more... Like a lot of the gold star, silver star stuff. I should be able to get the coop. Maybe we'll get that next episode. 6,350 wood. I don't know. Do you have to buy the animals afterwards? I assume so. I just feel like if I if I skip to the barn, like like cows and pigs and whatever else would be like a lot more expensive than chickens. I kind of, I kind of feel like the tech tree just kind of says, hey, get chickens first and then get a barn. Then I don't know if you could have multiple silos. Maybe you can, or maybe you could upgrade the silo. What does that say? Demolish building. Doesn't say anything about upgrading it though. That's that thing. That's the build button right there. And here's the mill to mill wheat, beets, and rice. Twenty five hundred gold and cloth and stone and wood. And yeah, and then there's the shed right there for, I guess, just general storage. So, hmm, 15,000 and then 300 wood. Okay, well, we should be able to afford that if I just sell a bunch of stuff. Maybe we can do that next episode, you guys. Hmm. Actually, I might be able to do that, like, right now. Might be able to just go home. Well, then who can I sell it to? Because, uh, whatever is it? Pierre's closed today. So I can't sell to him. I can't sell a bunch of flowers and stuff to him. I can't sell to Jojo Mart either, I don't think, right? Maybe I can't, I don't know. They might be closed by the time I try to do that. I don't know. Either way, I guess we'll go home, or... Where in the world is Demetrius at? Where is he? I just need to talk to him, give him a heckin' melon. I'm like, thankfully that mission doesn't have a... Doesn't have a time limit or anything like that. Oh yeah, I think like right here, this, I, I think this might be where that guy was saying, hey, put the warp totem on that or something. I'm not 100% sure. Just kind of generally looking around for worms right now, not seeing anything. 
Man, I don't know where Demetrius is hanging out right now. That's uh, 2 p.m. right now. What was I trying to do just a second ago? I was trying to do something. Oh, yeah, going to the blacksmith. I don't know. We might be able to go to the blacksmith. We might be able to go home, get five copper. Uh, I think we have five copper. I hope we have five copper. We're just sitting around ready to be used. Uh, but let's go down here. And there's uh, whatever the doctor guy. I don't know what in the world he's doing. Oh, yeah, didn't uh, Demetrius hang out around? Yeah, there he is right there. Okay, let's give him the melon. Give him the egg and melon. Boom. No, don't eat it. Golly, there you go. This is perfect. It's just what I need for my research. It's going to be hard to eat it. Thanks a bunch. Or it's going to be hard not to eat it. <laughs> Thanks a bunch. All right, so we got that mission done. That's good. I don't know how much money we got out of that, but I'm kind of in a rush. I need to head home immediately. And I need to go to the black. Oh, gosh, I don't think we're able to do it. 2.50 p.m. I don't I don't think we're able to do I don't think we're able to go home grab the stuff come back us oh, three now. Oh, man I don't think we can do it you guys. He's basically on the other side of the map man Oh, this sucks uh, I'm not even gonna try it. I'm not even gonna try it uh, All right. Well, I, I guess maybe I could Sell some of the gold star stuff to Joja Mart and try and get a little bit of money. I, I don't know I, I don't know if they'll actually buy it though like like Pierre buys everything right? And and to sell things overnight, I, and the shipping container, I have to I have to wait overnight for that. So, man, I don't know. Let's put this stuff up though. There you go. And then we have a uh, other stuff. Any wooden stuff here? I don't know. I, I guess if anything, uh, let's see. Is this the right chest? No, this one. Wait, where is the chest? Oh, it was this one, wasn't it? Yeah, here we go. I guess I put the driftwood up in there. And anything else? Nope, nothing. Man, well that sucks. Yeah, three twenty p.m. Yeah, we definitely wouldn't. I don't even. Do I even have five copper uh, ingots like ready to go? No, I don't even have five. I have four. <laughs> okay, so even if we add a little bit more time, I can't even do it anyways. Man, <sighs> that sucks. Anyways, I guess we'll put uh, glass jar. Oh, whoa. this is a thing you can give it to Gunther. Okay. Well, hey, I guess it's just another thing to sell to him, right? Uh, I guess I'll look at what else I could sell. Here. Speaking of selling, gold star blue. Golly. So, uh, maybe I'll just sell like all the gold star stuff over here, like all the gold star crops. Boom, boom, boom. Parsnip. I think I'm going to get rid of it. Boom. Gold Star Melon. Gold Star Blueberry. Sweet Pea. Summer I kind of want to keep that just, just as like a gift to people, right? So I, I, I think I'm going to sell all this stuff. Let's go to the shipping container. Can't go to anywhere else right now, right? I don't, I, maybe you can't. I don't know. Mm, I guess, I, yeah, you know what? L let's try and go to... Let, let's look at the map real quick. What times is Joe Jamar? Oh, yeah. They're open like for a while. Blacksmith. Okay, yeah. The museum is open until 6 p.m., so... Yeah, we can we can definitely go down there, giving them glass shards. I don't know why. Why would we <laughs> donate like broken pieces of glass to a museum? <laughs> I don't know, but apparently we're doing it. So let's go down there. Let's, let's go donate the glass shards just because they close a little bit faster than uh, Joe Jamart. And I assume Joe Jamart will uh will buy all this stuff if anything. Maybe they won't give us the best prices like Pierre might. But I'm like at least we'll get the money and we might be able to get a head start on that coop getting built and whatnot like maybe if we have the money and if we have all the resources and stuff like that maybe we'll go get robin to start building it starting today oh well abigail hangs out in the uh, library as well okay that's good to know if i want to give her an uh amethyst or whatever but you know get them get them started today in the next episode maybe we'll have a coupon and we can start messing around with that right so that'd be pretty cool glass shards just throw those over there on the corner make sure no one like <laughs> touches them and cuts themselves and sues the museum or anything like that right Let's see, what is this? Why is it so special? Glass shards, a mixture of glass shards soothed by centuries of ocean turf. Okay, that's good. So no, no sharp edges. That's good. These could have belonged to an ancient mosaic or necklace. Ooh, interesting. Anyways, uh, I don't know, give you sweet peas. Hey, how'd you know? Wait, see, so she likes sweet. Oh, well, these are kind of purple. How'd you know I was hungry? These look delicious. I wonder if you gift people stuff during a certain time of day, they'll be hungry. And even if it's like a, just a regular item, as long as it's food, they'll, they'll, oh, and by the way, yeah, yeah, 4 p.m. That's just what I thought. But may, maybe just like at a certain time of day, just because it's food, maybe they'll like it anyways. Maybe. And there's Shane right there and whoever that is. Now, can I actually sell anything here? What do we got going on? Yeah, I can't even sell anything. You can just buy stuff here and that's it. You can only buy seeds, and I think they're at a higher price than other stuff, so that kind of sucks. Yeah, well, I, I guess I'll just put those in the shipping container. Maybe I'll give, uh... I guess I'll give you a gold star. Whatever, gold star pepper. Boom. Oh, wow, Walfa, how'd you know? Oh, why do you keep saying the same thing? <laughs> give you a, uh... Bleep. 
Thank you. This makes my day really special. Jody loves the heckin' sweet pea right there. Nice. We're getting really good relationships with everyone. That's good. And just to make sure. Hold on, hold on. There's someone right there. I don't know, dude. What would she like? A blueberry? I don't know. A sweet pea. See, I don't want to sell the gold stuff. I'll, I'll give you a regular spice berry. Regular spice berry. Boom. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. It's not sweet. It's spicy. The other stuff over there, the sweet peas, those were sweet, though. So I assume... I think her name's Caroline, right? I assume she liked it. It sounded like she, was, she liked it. Well, I guess not. It's not pure in there. Uh, she's just okay with it. Okay. <laughs> what about... Uh, who was it? Jody with the sweet... It sounded like she liked that. And then, of course, uh, Abigail. Sounded like she really liked the, uh, the sweet pea as well. Yeah, she liked... Oh, well, she only liked... I thought she loved it, but no. She only liked it, which is good. It's still good. It's, it's a flower, I guess, technically, not a forage or whatever. Uh, then what was I doing? Who was I? Oh, yeah, Jody. I think she's relatively loaded. Yeah, because I've barely given her stuff. Yeah, she liked the uh, the tulip I gave her who knows how long ago and then a sweet pea there. So uh, not too bad, I suppose. Uh, I guess just because it's a general flower item and somehow Pierre's is open. Oh, yeah, because I guess there's literally people living there, right? But I guess I'll go over here. I, I do still have to tend to my crops and whatnot. Oh, yeah, we have a uh, crop research. Five and oh, wow, we got a lot of money right there. Nice. Now, if we got over $4,000 right there, I we I, I definitely would have gone over there and bought the coop from Robin, but... And speaking of such, when does their shop close? Shop open 9 a.m. Okay, yeah, they're already closed right now. 5 p.m. is when they closed, so that sucks. So I guess we'll sell everything. Everything that's gold star. Boom. And, and the coral and blah, blah, blah. There you go. And the rainbow shell. A lot of money from that, I'm sure, right? Anything else I want to sell, though? Like, just regular old crops? Because I kind of want to, because, hey... We get 10% more money out of them, so melons, green beans. Let me let me actually check, though. Anything that needs to be in the community center? Because I'm probably going to sell here to get some good money out of it. And I am not seeing anything. We're getting a lot of hot peppers, you guys. Hopefully, we get some really good money out of this, you guys. This is going to be amazing. Boom, boom. Wheat. I don't think we need that for anything, but I think I want to... Yeah, someone said to keep the hops until you get the... Uh, whatever that was, like the keg or something like that, right? To give that to... To, to make, like, beer or something like that. Melons and the potato. I kind of want to keep that in blueberry. I, uh... I think we can sell that. See, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to sell some... Uh, but then again, we need the money, so we can actually start upgrading our farm a little bit more. Yeah, let's sell it anyway. Parsnip, boom, there you go. Strawberry, I don't know. It was rare. At least in springtime. Uh... I'll sell it. And then potato, we can keep giving that to Demetrius and, you know, getting good relationship points with him. Any, any forging items over, over here I can get rid of? Uh, yeah, pretty much everything, I guess, huh? How long does it take for, uh... Hold on. How long does it take for... Where is it on this? The seeds. Ah, uh, it doesn't say. I assume if I grow them today, they won't be done. In, t in time for... Like, like, they'll be dead by the end of the month. They won't actually give me any any foraging items i feel like it'd be a waste so i think i'm going to sell all the stuff over here so spice berries daffodil i guess we'll sell that as well leeks i don't know does anyone like this stuff or the community center oh the community center wants to win a route though so i'll keep that grape sweet pea dandelion i guess we'll sell those get some good money uh still whoa the community center still wants to know the red mushroom what oh we already gave it one yeah, see, we already gave it one there. I guess it needs another one somewhere else. Oh, yeah, see, there's winter foraging there. Hazelnut. Where in the world does it want another red mushroom? Obviously not the fish tank. <laughs> Blacksmith bundle, no. Yeah, we still need to put uh, one of each bar over there. I'm sure we'll be able to do that. Frozen tear. Someone said, I think Sebastian liked frozen tears. Uh, I don't think we've gotten any besides, like, the first one. And I don't know what we did. Did we sell that? Did we get it to museum or something? I forget. Uh... Oh, yeah, and then we need we still need to get a lot of slime, and then we'll have that one finished. And this one's just purely just money. Uh, we could do this one right now if I want to, but now nah. uh, I, I need to save my money up. You know, invest in our in our farm over here, farm upgrades and stuff like that, and then it will eventually get more. Oh, yeah, I need purple mushroom for this. Uh, but, you know, invest in the farm. Invest in the long run. Okay, dye bundle. That's what we need the other red mushroom for, so maybe I'll go over there and drop that off real quick before the end of the day. Because I'm like, it is 6 p.m. right now, right? So... I guess I'll keep the mushroom. I'll grab it, and then I'll put it up in the community center. But I won't sell it. So there you go. Oh, yeah, and then the winter root. We need that, too. So either way, let's sell a bunch of stuff. Not the mushroom. Leaks. Boom, boom, boom. Sell everything. Get a bunch of heckin' money. That's what we're here for. Hey, oh. 
There you go. Get a lot of money out of that, I'm sure, right? Yeah, Lee. We have some wheat there. I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of wanting to keep that. And then winter root. I don't know. I, I think we just need one of those, but uh, I guess I'll take both just in case. So there you go. Uh, and I still need to water my crops and stuff like that, but I guess I'll go to the community center bro, before I can forget. Let's go to the community center real quick, donate these two items, and I guess I'll just water all the crops and... I don't know if I want to plant anything, because I'm like, there's just like only a few days, like literally like what, three days, three, four days left in the day or something like that? I think it ends on the 28th, so I'm very hesitant to try and plant anything right now. There's a sweet pea right there, I guess I could sell that as well. Maybe, uh, I, I don't know, I'll give you, I'll give you a sweet pea. Thank you, this is a very interesting specimen. Hey, look at that! So we gave him the melon earlier? Earlier? And I assume he liked that, uh, as, as a part of his mission, we got, hopefully got some relationship points there. And we gave him a sweet pea right there, noise. Anyways, let's go here. Where are we going? We're going to... It was the bulletin board? Was that the bulletin board? Chef's bundle, die bundle, yes. Red mushroom, boom. Now, what else was I looking for? Die bundle, no. Chef's bundle. Oh, we need three apples there still. It was... And then, yeah, field research. It wasn't that then. It must have been the boiler room, huh? For the, uh... Oh, wait, no, 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 no. It was, uh, for the, for the winter route or whatever. Yeah, we need to go to the winter foraging, I think, which would be down here in the crafts room. So I guess we'll go down here, go give the uh, winter root, see if it needs any other rooms want that, right? Uh, so let's put that, boom, there you go. So does this still need to be used in the community center? No. So I guess we could either sell that or keep it until next season and then start, you know, start using that to make a, or, you know, two seasons from now. And then I guess maybe we can make like winter seeds. I don't know if we're actually able to do that for winter time, but... Just me kind of thinking out loud here, you know. Either way, uh, I guess we'll just go down here and go to go not to go to bed. <laughs> don't want to do that just yet. I don't even know what my luck is today. Hey, got a broken CD. <laughs> I guess that answers that question. Boop. Oh, yeah, that was Clint right there. I did get a comment from someone saying uh, Clint goes to the bar at like 8 p.m. And now yeah, it kind of lines up as 8.10 right now. So, yeah, I think I just barely missed him last episode whenever I was trying to give him the uh, the tomato. So that kind of sucks. Boop. Nothing there. And Boop. oh, yeah, look at that. I got a green algae. I think I need that for the... I thought I thought I needed that for the community center or something like that, but I guess not, huh? Either way, I guess we'll go home. Like I said earlier, uh, I need to water all my crops and stuff like that. I don't think I'm going to plant anything down these last couple days. Hold on. Right, like, right as I can say, oh, I need to go home and do all this stuff. I want to go check on the calendar real quick. Any birthdays like tomorrow or anything? Okay, so it's Willie's birthday and then there's nothing. And then there's, oh, at the end of the month is that thing. Ooh, at the end of summer is that dance of the moonlight jellies that Lewis told us about earlier. Interesting, that's something to look forward to in like two episodes from now or something like that, right? That's going to be really, really cool, you guys. And we're going to send off summer and start looking forward to fall. Interesting stuff. Anyways, I don't know if there's any worms or foraging items over here. I think we already went foraging there earlier, but uh, I suppose we can put the green algae over here. And I am so curious to see how much money we're going to get all out of all this stuff that we just sold to you guys. It's going to be amazing. So uh, let's see, foraging item. No, wrong thing, wrong thing. Here we go. Foraging items here. Boom. All right. Well, I need to water all these heckin' crops over here. So, uh, oh yeah, I did get. A, I think I got a comment from someone saying. I guess I can take that too. Why not? <laughs> but uh, I think I got a comment from someone saying to move the furnaces to the left side of my house instead of having it in the front. I might do that. Uh, let's see. Wrong chest. Wrong chest again. <laughs> oh, I need to break the chests that don't have anything inside of them, just so I stop getting confused. But uh, put this on the fishing rod. There you go. Boom. And, uh, the, of course, the dog is blocking the chest I was trying to put the food inside of. <laughs> but, uh, let me, let me just water all the crops over here. You guys know the deal. Uh, of course, it's going to be a little bit less efficient of me doing the, uh, the, the copper watering can, like, power watering attack or whatever you want to call this. Here. <laughs> and, of course, all these crops over here have been watered, uh, or have been harvested. So they don't need to be, whoops, that was a double watering right there. But they don't need to be, uh, watered because there's nothing over there right now, right? So... Uh, that's going to save me a little bit of stuff, but, uh, yeah, let, let me keep watering over here. I'm like, we have tons of energy already. Not really the biggest deal in the universe if, uh, I'm not being completely energy efficient and whatnot, right? But, uh, yep, fill up our watering can real quick. But it is going to be a little bit harder for me to... Whoops, whoops, that's the wrong direction. It's going to be a little bit harder for me to make sure every crop here is watered. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to try and make sure everything has been watered here off camera real quick so i'll see you guys here in just a bit and we'll go to bed and see how much money i'm going to get from all that stuff i started selling so i'll see you guys here in just a bit i guess back i think we've got everything over there watered i do want to water is it that i think so and i think i think if this tree is too close it will like block it oh wow look at all the butterflies that came out of there that's crazy 
Uh, but I, I kind of want to get this area completely cleaned out. Uh, and I guess even including stuff like this. Like, whatever this stuff is. Just kind of cleaning all this random junk out of the way, right? Just so it has as much room as possible here. In case there's, uh, I thought there was something there. In case it needs, like, as much room as possible to grow. So, you know, just, just making sure it's able to grow there. But I think we're good to go. All I have is just wood and seeds and sap and stuff in my inventory. I think I'm good, so. How much wood do we have, by the way? Yeah, we have 430. Golly, I've got a lot of wood right there. Nice. Uh, it's 1230 right now. Let's go to bed. Let's see. I am so curious. How much money are we talking about here? Level six forging. Nice. Lightning rod. Wild seeds. F.A. I assume that means like mushrooms. So I get I could actually plant mushrooms now. But I'm like, I just got rid of one red mushroom. I assume it also needs a purple one. And then you combine those together, maybe. I don't know. And new crafter recipe for the warp totem beach. So I could actually craft these. Oh, that. That's what it's for, isn't it? Is that what that guy was called? Oh my god! Holy heck! We just got a lot of money right there! Oh my gosh! 11,770 gold! <gasps> oh my gosh! 7,772 7, from the farming! Look at all this! This is multiple pages! This is insane! <laughs> 44 regular hot peppers. We got $2,684 from that just sitting around. That, that's just been sitting in my chest. All those hot peppers that we planted like did, like five episodes ago or some of that, they're starting to pay off. They're starting to pay off, you guys. We only paid like, I don't know, like a couple hundred dollars for all the seeds and we're getting thousands back. <laughs> don't mind if I do. And then we got three green beans right there for 44 each. We got 132, not bad at all. The Gold Star Blueberry, randomly, 82 gold right there. Gold Star Melon, 412. Gold Star Parsnip, 57. Eh. And then Gold Star Grape, 120. Three uh, Gold Star Hot Peppers, 66 each. 15 grapes, 80 each for 1,200 for the whole group. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. The regular Strawberry, 132, not bad. 38 for the regular Parsnip. 10 Blueberries for 55 each, 550 all in total. And then 275 per melon, amazing. 1650 for the whole uh, group of them there. Four corn for 55 each for 220, and then uh, three radish for 99 each. That's kind of a weird number there. And for 297, amazing money. And the foraging over here as well. 300 for the rainbow shell, of course. Two gold spice berries for 120 a piece. Two regular coral for 80 a piece. Four gold star sweet peas for 82 a piece. Six le or five leeks for 60 gold. 7 dandelions for 40 gold, 15 sweet peas for 55, 13 spice berries for 80, 7 daffodils for 30, 6 wild horseradish for 50, all those, like 825 from the sweet peas, 1,040 from the spice berry. oh my gosh. And then randomly 15 from the green algae, <laughs> all for a total of $11,770. You guys, we got so much money. What are we going to do with all this money? I don't know. <laughs> we can definitely, we can upgrade our house now. We've got enough wood, right? We only need like 40, 50, look at that, look at that thing, it shook whenever it like added all that stuff up, that's amazing. <laughs> all right, well, I definitely need to end up this episode right here. We got some crazy music playing as well. Holy heck, we got some mail. Demetrius is greeting us right outside of our heckin' house. Hi, Waffle, I have some good news for you. A few days ago, I made a breakthrough in my research on the local environment. I'll spare you the technical details and get to the point. You know that empty cave over there, a little ways to the west? Well, I have a way to turn it into something useful. For both of us. I'd like to set up the cave to attract some local species. That way I could observe them in a more controlled environment. And you could con- I don't know why I'm doing this weird place. <laughs> I only just now thought- <laughs> And you can harvest whatever products they produce. I think he's going- to, I think this is what they're talking about. Uh, in the comments saying, You can't- there, You can't get any mushrooms over there until we have a certain amount of money. Well, we just got a lot of money. We have like, what, 15,000 or something now? And now Demetrius knocking on my door, smelling the money in my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> and he wants the slice of the pie, huh? All right, well, he's probably going to give me uh, mushroom seeds or something like that, right? I can either set up the cave to attract mushrooms or fruit bats. The bats will sometimes leave fruit for you to collect. Ooh! Oh, man, I don't like I don't like doing this kind of choice. Well, then again, because I'm going to be ending off the episode right here, we're going to get this choice again at the beginning of next episode, right? So let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think? What should I choose? What 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 should Demetrius start like putting in that cave to the left of our base? Mushrooms or bats? And if we grow mushrooms in there, it sounds like we get. I don't know. I don't know how much money we get from the mushrooms. I don't think I ever sold any. I think I put them all in the community center or something, right? 
So I don't know how much money we get from those, but the bats, he, or the fruit bats or whatever, apparently, whenever you kill them, they drop fruit. So, you know, you can get some good money either way there, it sounds like. I think, I think right now I'll just do mushrooms, but because the game saves whenever you uh, go to bed, whenever we start up next episode, we're going to have the choice of uh, doing this all over again. So let me know in the comments down below, what should I choose, mushrooms or fruit bats? Let me know, and uh, actually, I think I'm going to leave two comments in the comments down there. I'm going, to, I'm going to randomly say mushrooms, and I'm also going to make another comment randomly saying bats. Whatever of my comments has the most likes, that's what I'm going to be doing next episode. Mushrooms or bats for Demetrius. So be sure to like whatever comment you guys want me to, to, to do next episode. Mushrooms or bats. I'll just choose mushrooms right now temporarily. All right, I'll go set it up for you right now. It shouldn't take any time at all. Thanks for letting me do this. Yeah, so this is just temporary. Next episode, we'll, I'll, I'll be able to do that all over again based off of uh, how many likes we'll get on the uh, on those comments that I'll leave. So be sure to go down in the comments, thumbs up either mushroom or bats or both of them, I guess. I'm like, what's stopping you, right? <laughs> but whichever one has the most likes, uh, whenever I record next episode, that's what I'm going to be choosing at the beginning of the episode. Either way, uh, to Farmer Waffle, my knee's acting up again. And you know what helps? Rubbing the darn thing with a hot pepper. What the? What is wrong with people? <laughs> <laughs> Trouble is, my supplies run dry. Well, mine too. I just sold them all for like literally $2,000. <laughs> if you got one to spare, I'd be much obliged from George. I guess we'll accept it. We'll have to accept it again at the beginning of next, ep next episode. But until next episode, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, oh, whoa, whoa, hold on. Oh, yeah, leave this. So this is what it looks like now. Yeah, interesting. But yeah, while you're down there hitting that subscribe button, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Stardew Valley comes out so you don't miss an episode. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Oh, bye there.